You remember Seven Sanctum? It was this weird website that would generate like a bunch of random shit for people. They used to link it on TV tropes and shit a lot. Um, and there was just like title generators. So I'm gonna get Seven Sanctum out and just scream out titles. <laughs> Um, we will have a Vine linked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've already missed your goal because I, I discreetly started the episode in the middle of that. Oh no. Um, so now we know about Seventh Sanctum. <laughs> um, I don't even know if it's still up. Me neither. Um, because I didn't know about it in the first place. Um, that surprises me. It, it was insular nerd shit. My insular nerd shit was Bionicle though, so. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, I have a Bionicle Let's Play episode I want to do. I'll I'll do that sometime soon. Oh no, I hit a I hit a cucko. I don't know what hit, happens yet if you hit a second cucko or if you hit a cucko the second time. Um, Are they really called cuckoos? Yeah. Yeah. Are we just we're just gonna let that in there? Well, yeah. Um, so kind of what's cool about the mechanics of this game then is you hit if there is a thing for you to hit next to you. <laughs> regardless of whether you wanted to attack it. So whereas in Zelda games, maybe you, um, maybe you wanted to actually just hit it for shits and giggles, or you intentionally didn't hit the attack button because you're next to a cuckoo, um, you, you sometimes sort of just accidentally hit the button here. So or, what you're saying is you like the plausible deniability. It's more than plausible deniability because I just like forgot that you don't hit an attack button one time and that was the first time that I hit a cucko. But there's no way for us to know. Was it intentional or was it not? Well, if it... I don't think I'd be talking about it in a cool mechanical way if it was intentional, right? Unless that's just another layer of deceit. But you see how in this level they're using them oh, as there's sort two of like stage hazards. Um, because... With them there. Does anything bad happen if you kill him? Um, yeah, Kako's attack you. Let's actually see what happens. I haven't done this yet. Um. <laughs> Does it just never stop? Probably. I think you're safe now. Oh no! <laughs> see if it goes onto the next screen. Oh no, I'm scaring the dog. Oh, it doesn't go onto the next screen. That's nice. Now we know what happens. A, a slowly increasing frequency of um, attacks by cuckoos. <laughs> it's not. I'm it's not gonna stop getting giggles out of that, are you? This is never not gonna be. A <laughs> what is he holding? It's not like a rattle. It's a knife. Everything is so cute that I can't really be threatened by it. Yep. Except for um, that blob thing that looks like the bun from Sausage Party. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our new uh, Sausage Party commentary podcast. Um, so let's talk about this in terms of... of um, I want to start this in terms of like IP law and creativity. Because I think one of the more like convincing arguments for um, like strong IP has to do with um, thinking of folks like Crypto Necrodancer and Creators um, who, um, you know, might get their game cloned to all hell. Um, this is a thing that happened with Threes. Threes is a game that was um, uh, in development for like three years because um, it might have been two, uh, but it was still like a long time, especially for like a, it was a mobile indie game. Um, great hover boots. Um, that um, was in development for a long time, in part because the, the creator, Asher Vollmer, one of the creators, I should say, um, is big into um, sort of like perfecting balance. Um, and so rather than, you know, wait to ship a game that may not be sort of perfectly tuned, um, uh, they, you know, kept working on it for a long time to make it perfectly tuned. Um, 
And this is a tile sliding game, the likes of which you may know from... Oh, um, is this 2048? 2048 was the most popular clone. Actually, 2048 wasn't... It was the most popular clone, but it wasn't even a clone. It was a clone of a clone. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. A clone of the game, ah, oh, beans. A clone of the game, Threes. Um, so Threes was released. Um, within a week, it was cloned. Okay, we gotta take a second, not to interrupt you, yeah. to appreciate the eyeball cam that just happened. Ah, anytime parts of people's bodies come off of them and become weapons, I'm like into that. Was that an eyeball cam? I th I'm pretty sure he just fired his own eyeball at you. Well, I'll have to go back to this point and, and, and check it out. Um, because as you can see, I just died because I'm, I'm so bad against guards. I'm so bad against guards. This is true in, in um, Link to the Past, which this aesthetic is, I'll say, Link to the Past inspired. Um, so as you can see in front of us, I have died, but I have collected diamonds while in life. Um, which what now allow me to pick up items in the afterlife. So um, And I can actually just pick up all of these. So the extremely... <laughs> Leftist message of this game is as long as you hoard wealth and life, you'll never <laughs> die. <laughs> this is a perfect game for Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> let's go with that one. Um, no, it's the more you help people out, the more you can continue to help them out because you have gained things along the way to help you get more tools with which to help people out. Um, also, this is the most anti-dancing game since Footloose. <laughs> Everyone who dances near you also wants to kill you. Because here's the thing, I could... I just this... implied that Footloose was a game, and I want to see Footloose the game. Um, I think you play as a protagonist in Footloose the game during Dance Dance Revolution. But you see, I was able to just like sneak through that square there, mm -hmm. but now I'm going to have less diamonds, um, sort of, if and when I perish later. Okay, stupid question. Yes. Um, sometimes when the bars come together in the middle of the screen, they're like parallel to each other, and then sometimes they're together. Oh, bees, I hit a chicken. Um, it's because they are parallel when I get, like, essentially the perfect beat. And then bad when they're horizontal? Yeah, that means I did it too early, probably. Um, I think potentially too late, but probably not when I did it too late. Um, yeah, so threes got cloned, like, bad. Um, people, I would play Threes, a game that I absolutely adore, um, and people would say, oh, is that a clone of 2048? Um, and wow, would that just make me very sad. Um, yeah, I had no idea that 2048 was derivative of anything. Yeah. Um, I forget what the or first clone was called, but at 2047... I was just shooting a rock. I really wanted that to be an eyeball because it, it comes out of the eyeball. Can we at least agree on that much? It, it sure does come out of the eyeball. Actually, it's cool. I think it comes. No, that's not an eyeball. It's a little, it's a little snoot. Little, loose, little snoot. Little rock bugger. Uh, um, threes is a game that I absolutely love and 2048 so the thing that 2048 mostly changed was first of all um, which numbers are being added together and secondarily from that um, uh, that the numbers that are added um, oh, I'm cornered aha reflected figured out how to use the reflector good but I'm also gonna die Wait, is that guy like changing form? I think he's got an electric attack. Um, sometimes he does electric attack. Oh, beans. Oh, beans. There we go. Play a little eel boy. Um, I'm, I'm low on health. I'm gonna try to just pop on over back to Kakariko Village. Um, see if I can't improve my luck. Oh, right, I didn't clear the screen. That got dangerously close to you doing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's fun. <laughs> 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 to think about it again for a second. Yeah, yeah I suppose you're, you're not incorrect with that. Um, um, thank you, Sign. 
Excuse me, I gotta go back. I wanna, I need to, I need, I need to hit these real quick. Thank you. Um, but without, like, Apple and Google especially, especially at the start Google, um, because in part, oh no, oh, I did a bad, um, because threes was at, at the start just on um, the uh, Apple App Store, not the Google Play Store. Um, so Google had even less incentive to um, take clones off of there. Um, I got all my hearts, what am I looking for? Because it's not like they weren't gonna download threes. Yeah. Um, and it's not like, oh, this is the creator who will be actually angry at us, who we care about, because this person already isn't, um, isn't already isn't on the, the Google Play Store, which is, you know, oh, oh no, I got confused. Because uh, rights are only for the profitable. Yeah. Um, but even on the App Store, um, which, you know, tends to have more curation, tends to have, um, sort of higher, um, creator, not creator input, but, um, Apple creator input, um, into the system. It looks like I already got the thing that was there. Um, there was no response because, I, I don't know, there's... They just decided not to. I'm not sure what exactly the motivation was. Because clearly there's no like gameplay difference. It's just different. Numbers. Well, there was gameplay difference. Um, I dislike 2048 because it legitimately ruins the systems that 3's... Oh no, a B, oh no, a B, oh no, a B, oh no, a B! Um, <laughs> I just flash back to that background character from Adventure Time that's just a skeleton beat the guitar. I love that so much. Oh, I got absolutely wrecked by this. I'm going to vent for a little while you're, while you're going, thanks. Yeah. Um, I think the thing that turned me against most copyright, at least in terms of big corporations, was weirdly enough YouTube poops. Because <laughs> um, I, I really got into them in like early middle school or whatever. And um, seeing like literally copyrighted work get like so divorced from its original content um, and like be flexible enough to become like its own whole new thing. I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then at the same time I was reading uh, Alan Moore's uh, Legal, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen yeah. with uh, Kevin O'Neill. Which honestly is not a great comic that you shouldn't read it. <laughs> I, I don't want anyone to take this as a recommendation, but I was reading League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I guess those first 12 issues are good. Um, it quickly goes downhill after that. There's a school shooting issue set at Hogwarts. It's terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds um, conflicted, let's say. Um, but so, in the same sort of time period, I was seeing all these people do really cool things with um, public domain and with sort of ambiguous, fair use kinds of copyright. Um, and like, I guess from then on, without even like necessarily understanding the hellish extent to which Disney has, under has like extended copyright law, um, it's something that I've like, thought a lot about, like, especially in the context of, like, not to make everything about shared university for our comics, but, like, a lot of <laughs> creators, like, criticize fans being, like, oh, I don't understand why people do fan fiction, or et cetera, et cetera, and then it's, like, okay, but you're getting paid to write a ton of characters that you didn't create that were around before you were born, yeah. <laughs> so the sort of the conversation around who actually owns the thing gets both way more black and white and way more gray area when you're talking about shared properties like that. Like, I mean, Jack Kirby didn't see a cent of any of the Avengers stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but also it's very clear that Disney owns those characters and it's going to get really protected. I don't have a bottle. I can't get healed. <laughs> I want... Why can't you just like hands? Just like... 
cup your hands and drink. That ruins the magic. But, like, why, though? Uh, potions have very specific ingredients. Yeah, but, like... Why do they have very specific ingredients? That's asking the wrong question. It's magic. Can you just not, like, bob for apples and, and then get paid? No, because Baba is you. <laughs> oh, jeez. I know there's all these enemies here, but I'm just gonna explore these, uh... <laughs> Your dog did a good snore. Um, Blake is reviewing this episode of Love Flash. So far, he does not approve, but we can win over it. Oh, that's why there's still things here, because... I thought I had cleared the screen, but there's the, um... There's, um, there's a little off rock over off to the side. But, so I guess a question then, though. Because, like, I get the argument that copyright protects smaller creators so that they don't get 2048ed. Um, but, like, would they be equally protected in a world where just, like, everything was public domain after a certain point? Because, like, everybody's stealing their stuff, but, like, they can also take advantage of that. Yeah, um, I think part of the tough thing is, is it makes really sort of unequal, um, use of, of, um, copyright. It's sort of how the modern day... <sighs> I'm choosing to believe that that noise was intentional and you wanted to refer to it as the modern day. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Because, like, that fits. Yeah. That fits. <laughs> <laughs> what can Link do? A spin attack can hit multiple surrounding enemies at once. No. The reflect seems like it's more worthwhile. But I don't know how to defeat... Uh, okay, here's what's gonna happen. I know I'm missing beats, but I just need to run away. So I can go back to Kakariko Village. See if I can get... Oh, oh I did it bad. Oh. Are you... Oh, you, no, no, I, I got confused because there's these confused Oh, I thought blocks. you were bleeding for a second? No. I thought there was a drop of blood. I was freaking out. Ah, beans, there's folks there. Um, I gotta remember how to get back to Kakariko Village. Uh, uh, next time on Let's Play. Me how to get... 